Everybody, uh, welcome back to the layout. Um, today is January 25th, um, and today you'll have to excuse the layout. As you can see, I've been running the Zephyr, but uh, you can see I got an engine lane right there. Um, actually, yesterday I discovered we have a Tomcat. I discovered that the Tomcat must have gotten into this room and sprayed a lot of my stuff. So I've been working for the last couple days. As you guys know, uh, Tomcat urine is extremely hard to get off. Uh, so it's been kind of tedious. I got most of it done. So you can see I'm working on the Lionel BNSF uh, diecast CS44 right now. I got it pretty much all the way done. But uh, the Zephyr here, I don't know, maybe Lionel doesn't put a clear on it. But uh, you know what, I'm going to pull the camera off of the, the stand and uh, let me uh, show you more closely. Okay, as you can see right here, I've got spots. They're like dark. I've tried to clean them and nothing has taken this stuff up. And it could be something that may have damaged the metal. And same on this side over here. Right here. And really kind of all through here. I don't know if you guys, let me get out of the light, but uh, yeah, this sucks, it's a great running engine, I love the sound set on this thing, the, the prime mover and the horn are both awesome, um, but you know, I guess I could either paint it, if I can't find a way to do this, and I really think that it's eaten into the metal, um, but if I can't, you know, if there's no way to clean it, then I could always paint it, um, uh, or I could always weather it but uh, okay let me put this thing back on the stand anyhow and by the way this could have happened weeks ago because everything was totally dry you know I just didn't realize it because the cat must have been on the back side of the layout and then sprayed it and everything kind of hit the back side for the most part of the locomotives and I just my eyes aren't that good anyways um, and one other thing is um, you know I've, I've in the last seven years, I've had virtually no problems with my trains. Um, about two years ago, my uh, MTH 
uh, Christmas Express up there. Uh, the motor shorted out on it, so I did replace that. I did not film that. But, as you can see right here, I developed a problem with uh, the big boy. And I'm pretty sure the main problem is the, uh, the main board. The uh, receiver driver board. Uh, I believe it's bad. So I went ahead and ordered that. And it should be here in a day or two. If you guys want, maybe I'll, I'll uh, do a video of the repair. But anyways, um, and I'll show you what's wrong. I'm not going to show you now. But anyways, alright guys. Just wanted to give you an update what's going on around here. Uh, <laughs> bottom line is if you have a Tomcat that sprays, don't let them in your train room. Anyways, and I apologize for the mess in here. It's total mess. I've been, uh, like I said, I've just been working on stuff. So, anyways, you guys have a great one, and we'll catch you. And if you guys have any ideas on cleaners or whatever, what what can I do with this effort? Maybe I'm, you know, I've been using 409 and rubbing alcohol on the, the, the all the rest of the trains. And the trains that were painted, I'm able to get the stuff up, even though it was really hard and it's, I mean, I literally I'll spend hours on one locomotive trying to get this stuff up. But uh, anyways, all right, you guys have a great one. Catch you next time. Bye.